I'm replacing this outlet in a, about a 30 year old condo, so I'll give you a couple tips. In, in a case like this, we want to always make sure we turn off the breaker or remove the fuse to any circuit we're working on. And once you turn it off, it's always good to just double check the outlet on both sides to make sure the electric's off. And in this case, it's been painted over quite a few times. So use a screwdriver and break loose the bond of paint on these little ears on the side here or take a razor knife and break it because if you were to remove this and pull it you can tear the paint off onto the wall and then on your screws if they've been painted just kind of use your screwdriver as a chisel and break that open so I'll remove the old outlet and we'll see whether it's in the middle of a circuit or so in this case it's actually what the electrician did was rather than creating a pigtail and going on to other outlets down the circuit he actually just stripped the wire right in the center and I'm just going to replace the new outlet using this but if you had two cables coming into a, an electrical box which this is you've got actually a hot coming from the panel and then you've got a hot going on to another outlet. If you had two wires, you would never want to connect two wires to one screw. You would want to take the two wires, connect it with a wire nut, and then have a pigtail going to this. But because this is really just one wire looping this, we'll leave it the way the electrician had it. So I'll remove these two and then we'll uh, connect the new outlet. To connect the new outlet, we're going to connect the hot to the brass colored screw. In the U.S., it's either going to be a black or a red wire. And if this were two individual wires, and in fact we have two cables in this box and two individual wires, we would connect one to each screw on the brass side. And on the neutral side, if it were two wires, we could connect one to each silver screw. So we're going to leave it just like the electrician had it. We're going to wrap the hot on the brass side and just tighten this down and we know this is just a standard outlet there's no switch that's connected to it so it's very easy to connect and we're going to connect the neutral to the silver colored screw and in the Chicago area where we are we all have metal boxes and metal conduit going all the way back to the service panel so it's all grounded the screws metal screws going into the metal box and all the way back are grounded so in many cases you won't see electricians use a green grounding screw but if you have non-metallic clad wire you always need to connect a ground to that green screw so that's all there is to it to connect the new outlet and what I'm going to do here is just cover this the screws with a piece of electrical tape wrapping this all the way around and because we have metal boxes in case the next homeowner were to pull this out and work on this outlet without shutting off the electric it's going to protect them from getting a, a shock or electrocution from this metal box so very simple we'll tuck in the wires and screw it down and that's all there is to connect an outlet that has two cables coming into the box